Hello to every tug that chugs across the bay. He has a crew of friendly mates he visits every day. And what's the song they sing as they go on their merry way? Where are we gonna play today? Santi's Lighthouse, come on along, we're on our way. Santi's Lighthouse, all of our friends are there, hooray! Santi's Lighthouse, shining a light to guide the way. Santi's Lighthouse. First the ribbon. Next the flowers. And last the card. <laughs> oh boy! I sure hope Aunt Toby likes a present that we made for her. Yeah, I can't wait to see her face when I give it to her. You? Well, why you? Well, I just naturally figured it would be me, because I'm Aunt Joey's favorite. Who said you're her favorite? She did. Look over here. See? Remember when I used my action guide and set up a big parade for Aunt Joey? Claude, you are the best parade planner. That's no big deal. Look at this. Remember when I made that great statue of Aunt Choby? Oh, Salty, you are one super sculptor. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the clams are the most amazing acrobats. Bravo! Well... Then which one of us is Anchovy's favorite? Me! No, no I, I am! Me, I am! Good thinking, Seymour. Maybe we can figure this out by watching the tug. When it's time to hand out dangerous work assignments, Zoran always tries to be fair, but the choice is never easy. Listen up, Zero Blake. We've got some barges of dangerous explosives. Uh, that stuff that might blow up. Right, Captain Zero? The barges need to be taken out to sea at noon today. Zoran, you decide who does the job. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll take care of it. I'll do it, Zoran. I want to do it. Mm, what I need is someone who's brave, strong, and fast. Sounds like me, boss. Especially the brave part. No. Refresh my memory, Sack. Well... Remember the time CB and me were towing those important steel pots across the harbor and my engine started to smoke? We better stop, Zack. No way. These pots need to get through. I can't let Zorin down. But your engine, what if it blows up? You could get... Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Hey, come on, we got a job to do. And we did it, too. Got those pots there right on time. Of course, I got my engine fixed soon as we got back. No, I remember, Zack. A job well done. No, I can see it won't be easy to decide which of you is the best for the job. What job is that, mates? Towing explosives out to sea. Are you interested, ZB? Well, sure. Where do I go? Hold on to your hatch, ZB. I'm still thinking about who's going to do it. Me and Zip should do it. Yeah, me and Zug. And why is it that I should let my two smallest tugs do this job, hmm? Tell me that. Well, cuz... Uh, cuz together we're really strong. Remember the time we pushed that really, really, really heavy fire barge up the river? On that really, really, really freezing cold day? And I got stuck, too. <laughs> well, it was a good thing we did. Yeah, we were right there, so we could put out that big fire 
fire that flared up. Remember Zorin? No, I remember it well, Zog. You two made a strong showing that day. Well, hold on a second. If it's a strong boat you're looking for, I'll tell you about strong. It was really windy that day. The windiest day of the year, if I remember right. And there I was, hauling four of the biggest, heaviest barges you'll ever see. Suddenly, the wind grabbed onto my barges and was pulling them apart. It was all I could do to keep them together. Ten cents and sunshine were there, and they wanted to help. But I told them, no, I didn't need their help. I got my barges under control like there was no wind at all. Now that's strong. Hmm, strong indeed, ZB. Now I'll give you that. So, who is it gonna be, Zorin? Yeah, which one of us gets to tow the explosives? Yeah, which one? Well, it's a hard choice. Let me think about it. Gee, which one of the tugs is the best? I wouldn't know which one to pick myself. Well, we know Anchovy'd pick us. Sadie and me. Yeah, cause we're her favorites. Oh, girls, you are fantabulous flyers. No, 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 no. Oh, Joe, you settle it. Who really is Anchovy's favorite? Well, <laughs> actually, uh, I thought it was me. You? Let's see which one of the tugs Zoran likes best. Maybe that'll help clear this up. The boats of Zero Fleet wait anxiously to find out which one of them Zoran will choose to do the big job. Huh, wonder which one of us Zoran's gonna pick. We'll know soon enough. Here he comes. Zarin, choose me! No! Oh, no, no, uh, us! Come on, uh, us! Ahoy, mates. Uh, well, I've made up my mind who's going to tow that dangerous cargo. Is it zipping me? Us? What about me? I'm the one, Zarin. I can do it. <laughs> well, well. I'm glad to see such enthusiasm. It's what we're all about, boss. Good. But I've decided that since it's such a dangerous mission, we'll all do it together. All of us? All of us. Way anchor, mates. Follow me. Hey! <laughs> After carefully loading the dangerous cargo, the Zero Fleet waits for instructions from Zorin. Now, listen up. Zack. You move off first, and don't take any chances, got me? Aye, aye, Zarin! Keeping in mind Zarin's instructions, Zack moves upriver with his cargo. Easy as you go, Zack. Just keep us steady, and keep flying that danger flag. ZB, you're next. Same goes for you. Take it slow and easy. Aye, aye, sir. I'm on my way. I'll take the last barge myself. We'll meet up with Zip and Zog and get this job done right. <laughs> Keep your bows into the wind, boys, and mind the swells. Despite each of us being different, we're a good team. Wow! Zoran likes all the tugs. He needs them all to do the job. But we still don't know who Anchovy likes best. Best? Bless my barnacles. What are my favorite mateys up to now? We made you surprise gifts. And the one you like best... Is to give it to you! The one I like best? But I love you all, the mateys. Then we'll all give you this. Oh, now I have a picture of all my favorite mateys. Because you're all special. Oh, group hug. Yeah, we are special. Attention all hands, it's Salty Song Time! Let's give a cheer for me, there is only one of me, no one else has got my nose. My lips, my neck, my knees, my toes. So let's give a 
to cheer for me. I'm as special as can be. Even if I had a twin, <laughs> it's still my grin, my chin, my skin. I have things on my own, things nobody else has. My hair, my eyes, my feet, my teeth, and all that other jazz. Let's give a cheer, cheer for me. There, there is only one of me. No one else has got my nose. My lips, my neck, my knees, my toes. So no one can take my place. No one's got my smiling face. I'm as special as can be. So let's give a cheer for. Let's give a cheer for. Let's give a cheer for me. I can count up to eight. Okay, ready? Watch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Gather round, mateys. Cherry berry muffins. <gasps> oh, oh, I'll pass them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Claude, you're number seven. And number eight is for you, Sadie. No, we don't want it. What's wrong with Sadie? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sadie, what's wrong? Sophie can count to eight, and I can't. Aw, uh, don't worry. You'll be able to count real soon. Sure you will. But how come Sophie can count good, and I can't? Everyone learns when they're ready. Soon you'll be counting just like Sophie. I know you will. Six, seven, eight. All hands on deck. It's Sophie's song time. <laughs> You can do it, you can do it, you can do it if you try. Make your mind up and you'll wind up doing big things by and by. The first time seems scary, oh, that's because it's all so new. But you can do it, you'll get through it and feel proud of what you do. You can do it, so get to it, ready, go, and start to climb. You can make it, simply take it, going one step at a time. The first step seems scary, I know, that's because it's all so new. But you can do it, you can do it, you can make your dreams come true. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it too. You can do it too. I bet I can count to eight now. One, two, six, four. Uh, oh, I'll never learn. I get so mixed up. <laughs> I really feel sad for Sadie. How can we help her feel better? Maybe if we watch the tugs, we'll get an idea. Just like they do every day, Ten Cents and Sunshine pull up to the Star Pier to get their work orders. All the other tugs have already been given their assignments. Gosh, I hope I get to do something different today. Different? Like what? Well, Hercules and Big Stack are bringing in a cruise ship. I'd like to do that. You're not ready to do that. I'm more ready than you are. That's not the point. Sorry, Sunshine. Anyway, Otis is taking the ferry across the harbor. I'm sure I could do that. But we'll probably get stuck taking fuel out to Lily Lightship like we always do. Well, that's important too, you know. Ten cents, sunshine, pick up the fuel barge and take it out to Lily Lightship. I knew it. Batten down your hatches and get moving. Fuel days, fuel days, across the water and through the haze. I'll try to be happy and do my work. And if you don't do it, I'll think you're a jerk. Sunshine? <laughs> Ahoy there, mates! Otis, just the tug I wanted to see. Well, what can I do for you, Ten Cents? Well, uh, we actually... Don't look at me! I'd like to help you take the ferry across the harbor. Oh, would you now? Well, I'm afraid you'll need a bit more practice before you can do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm off to do my job. Toodaloo! At least you tried, Ten Cents. Aw, oh, come on, Sunshine. Let's get moving. Fuel days, fuel days. I just don't know what I would do without you two. Thanks, Lily. But you know, we can do a lot more than just hauling fuel. 
You don't have to convince me, Tencent. Yeah, tell that to some of the other tugs. Why don't you tell him yourself? He already tried that. Well, keep trying. You'll get your chance. So while Sunshine tows the fuel barges back to port, Ten Cents tries to convince the other Starfleet tugs to let him help. I appreciate your offer, Ten Cents, but uh, I think Lord Stinker and I had better handle this dirty work ourselves. Are you sure? Quite sure. Allen Rocks is too heavy for little tugs. I'm not that little. You are for this. Poor Ten Cents. Nobody seems to need his help. Okay, okay. I get the message. Meanwhile, Otis chugs up to the landing as the Fulton Ferry moves out to meet him right on schedule. The ferry is empty now, and it needs to get across the harbor to pick up another load of freight. Otis has made this trip hundreds and hundreds of times, but life in the harbor doesn't always go as planned. Ahoy! You out there! Slow down! Slow down, I say! Oh no! The ferry doesn't see the motorboat coming! All engines stop! Trouble ahead! Otis jams his engine into reverse just in time. Look where you're going! Oh! Uh, dunk my dinghy! I'm out of control! Watch out for my barge! What's gonna hit? Oh no! What have I done? Oh, she's tipping over! Help! Mayday! Mayday! That sounds like Otis! Mayday! SOS! The Fulton Ferry is tipping badly and ready to go under. Ahoy, Otis! I'm coming! I'm coming! Yeah, not a moment too soon. You gotta get Hercules or Warrior. There just isn't time. I'll get a line on her. Hurry! She's going under! Don't worry, I can do it! Careful, Ten Cents, or you'll go down with her! It's the only chance, Otis! Move aside! Oh, there's a lot of brave in that little switcher. I hope he can do it. I've got my line on her! Oh, she's really heavy! She's going down fast! Cast off, Ten Cents! Let her go! Uh, uh, no! I can save her! Uh, uh, she's coming back up! Pull! I got her in tow! She's safe now! I can't believe it! You did it! You saved the Fulton Ferry! Not bad for no practice, eh? Ten Cents sure felt better after helping Otis. Maybe there's some way we can help Sadie feel good, too. How? Well, we need to let her know how special we think she is. We'll make Sadie feel as great as Ten Cents did after he helped Otis. You really came through back there, Ten Cents. Now I know I can count on you. I'm a lot tougher and stronger than you think, Otis. Oh, I don't doubt that for a second. Matter of fact, I think you're ready to work some bigger ships. You do? I, I mean, I do too. When do I start? Next time I take the Fulton Ferry across the harbor, you're coming with me. Yahoo! I say, what's all this yahooing about? I'm moving up in this world, Top Hat. The sky's the limit. Well, I know that. Uh, doesn't everybody? They do now. Fuel days, fuel days, soon there'll be some really cool days. Now it's time to make Sadie feel better. <laughs> Sadie Seagull, this is your nice story! Sadie Seagull, all your friends are here to let you know what a great gull they think you are. Oh, wow! Can you guess who's behind the screen? Sadie, you were always a good egg. We knew you'd be everything you were cracked up to be. And here she is, straight from her push cart, and Jovi! Sadie, you are one great bird. Because you give your all, we want to give something back to you. This is to celebrate the day you shared your cookie with me. And this is for flying to get anchovy the time I scraped my knee. Wow, I never even had one trophy before, and now I have one, two. Sadie, I learned to count faster than you, but I know I can always count on you, sis. Wow, 
so many pros to cheer me up. S Salty's one, Claude's two, Ocho's three, Anchovy's four, the Combs are five, six, and seven, and Sophie is eight. Oh. Sadie, do you realize what you did? What? You just counted all the way to eight. I did! I counted to eight! Oh boy, oh boy, am I a smart girl or what? Hello to every tug that chugs across the bay. He has a crew of friendly mates he visits every day. And what's the song they sing as they go on their merry way? Where are we gonna play today? Salty's Lighthouse, come on along, we're on our way. 